Welcome boys and girls to the 2020 Summer Shade Explosion. Woo woo. Today we are going to be reading a book written by your very own Miss S. Yes, you're right. You heard it. I wrote a book for you and we're going to read it and you're going to love it. Hey, hey, okay. So this book, as you can see, is titled The ABC About Four Seeds. Now, before we get started, I want you to think, what do you see that is different about Miss S? I got on another wig. Who said that? That was you? Yeah, I got on a wig. <laughs> no, you slide the finger up. Yeah, it is a wig. Okay, so what I want y'all to know is that this is beautiful. This is gorgeous, this is nice, this is unique. And I'm gonna explain to you why. Using the ABCs. All right, get ready. We're gonna begin. Let's get started. A. A is for artistic and the way my hair dance. With its texturized kisses, you can see it with a glance. Some call it magical, like waters of the mystic sea, but I don't believe in magic, only the true nature about me. Okay. B is for biotin. It's what causes our hair to grow. Using this and parting my hair section by section and row by row. It grows long and even sprouts upon my head. Sometimes it looks like I had just woke up from bed. But I love my hair with this curly twist even when I have to bend my wrist. C is for conditioning throughout the week or throughout the day. Conditioning is part of a natural girl's hair regimen is what my mama always say. Coconut oil, peppermint leaves, and even the juiciest of the tree. I love conditioning my hair. Sometimes I do it on my knees. You gotta condition it, right? All right, you gotta do nothing. D. Okay. D is for detangling from the roots to the ends. Sometimes I use my fingers and different products that blend. This is the hardest part and sometimes I even cry. Sometimes I look in the mirror and loudly shout, why? But my hair is a part of me. This is what I know. And detangling is part of the process that makes my hair grow. E is for Eco Styler. It's a gel that I love to use. With its grip slips and whips, it acts just like mousse. It stays in formation with any style I put. Sometimes I use the whole jar and my mama gives me the look. Like, don't be using all that jar. You don't got no money? You gonna pay? You gonna put it back? All right. But I can't help it. I love the way it feels in my hair and on the tips of my palms. Ooh, I can't help but squeal. F is for fingers. We use our hands a lot to part and detangle and find the perfect spot. To braid, to sculpt, and to twist. Our hair, natural design. Sometimes it takes a while, which is why you will hear us sigh. Hmm. G is for generation. We pass down our hair through our kids. Each time we become a mom, we do the same thing for us that our mother first did. It is something about the recycling of this tradition, and even when your hair starts itching, you better not itch it. That's why my mom is still in position. H is for hair and how it sits up in the air. It blows through the wind all over my head, messes up my twists and curls. Now this I dread because now I have to do it all over again. I is for itching. This means our scalp is dry or just about. One of the most important things to know is a healthy scalp keeps moisture in and dead skin out. With oils and grease and regular wash, we can protect our hair and keep it looking posh. Mm. 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 Doesn't it look good? 
Let me fix this section right here. Ooh, there we go. J is for jam. It is used for braids, twists, and even buns. It is very shiny and shines like the sun. It molds our hair in one direction to stay and even offers a different way to fight the weather today. What you know about that jam? K is for kinky. It is how I describe my hair. It reminds me of things that's wrinkly, but it's still beautiful to wear. It's harder to comb, but it's still worth it while. When I am done, I do a big old smile. <laughs> L is for locks. It's a different type of style. One that is more permanent and lasts a long while. A lot of people do it, it grows really fast. And if you take good care of it, then a long time it shall last. M is for moisturize. It's important to oil our hair so it doesn't get rough and trite and bring out all of our hair. We sometimes mix ingredients, but organic waste is the best. We put coconut, lavender, and tree oils to the test. As our hair is nurtured, it grows into a shiny coat, which protects our hair and promotes our growth. N is for naps is what commonly happens to our hair. There are little small balls snuggled in there. With a comb and a clench of the teeth, you'll get out in no time, just believe. Sometimes it's hard to handle, so we sit there and wait and pray that the small ball goes away. O is for oops, when we cut our hair with scissors. We call this the big chop to get back to our roots. It stays real short and then grows real long, and then we will get really happy and start singing silly songs. My hair has grown back, 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 back. My hair has grown back, back, okay. P is for protective styling. This is where we wear twists, plaits, braids, and wigs. It's a wig, y'all know, it's S keep her wigs. Mm. This shields our hair and gives it time to grow. We apply different moisturizers and watch as it digs through our scalp and moisturizes our hair. It's the best way to take care for it while protecting it with something else. Q, Q, Q. Q is for quest because our hair is a journey. We learn from it and grow because our hair is always turning. Different lifts, scouts, shapes, and sizes. And although we don't win any prizes, our hair is biggest accomplishment because it was heaven sent. Your hair is beautiful. Shake it, but I can't shake it too much because I want my wig to fall out. R. R is for regimen. It's the practice of our hair. Each one is different and requires different amount of care. It's important to be consistent even when the day is tired. Your hard work will shine because you were a persistent little fire. That's right. S. S. As in Miss S. Yeah. I know. I know. I know. That's what you said. Okay. S is for shrinkage, the biggest headache of them all. It causes our hair to appear really, really small. It's frustrating because we work real hard for it to grow, and when it shrinks, it's as if our hair is telling us no. I don't like no. Do you? No. See? Uh -huh. But I learned that hair can be shy just like us. It just takes some conditioning to make a big old fluff. Let's get in there. T is for tender-headed. It describes those that cry and yell when doing their hair causes them pain. It's important to understand that pulling and tugging can cause a lot of strain. Some call our hair an issue because it requires a lot of care. My mama compares it to a gardener and says if he doesn't water his plants, then no fruit shall they bear. U is for unique. This is how our hair is described. Although it looks different in everyone else's eyes, it is puffy or kinky, curly or straight. It is ours and beautiful in each and every way. B is for voice. Our hair has a voice of its own. How we take care of it will be shown. With each little care that we put into our hair, it will be grateful and be even more beautiful to wear. Hair is important just like anything else. We must protect it and love it or else it will tear. Take care of your hair. W is for wraps. We wear them around our hair, sometimes because it's fashionable or because we just don't care. Maybe we ran out of time or maybe it's a lazy day for us. Either way, it's beautiful and it's a trim on the cusp. There are different styles. Some are short and some are long. What matters is how we make the knot so we can wrap and wrap until the perfect spot. X is for Hoza, a language and people from Africa. It's where our hair journey began and traditions grew. Important to know where our hair comes from so we can say we always knew. 
the beautiful people and beautiful hair, this is our culture and it's only fair to understand our ancestors and how our hair promotes strength because they stay strong from the beginning to the end. Why is for young, we teach them as they grow that their hair is beautiful and it shows. Your hair is beautiful and it shows. From understanding their difference and promoting their growth, it is important for them to understand their hair's identity in any given entity because they are special, young and dope. You dope, you young, you special. Z! Z is for the Z's. The sound we make when we are asleep. This is the most important time of our day because we have to watch just how our hair lay. We brush or comb, moisturize or grease our hair into a style that is perfect when we sleep. We wrap it up in a bonnet or a scarf, then we know we are snug just for the night. Four C's, the ABC is about four C's. I really hope you enjoyed it. And remember, your hair is beautiful. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Whoa.